Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about embedding images into your game using the function export images code. So what exactly is embedding? This is the process of taking the texture files that your game would use, turning them into code and compiling them into your game. This means at runtime, your game doesn't need to read any PNG or GIF files from disk and will just run entirely from its executable. This means you can ship your game with just one file, just the exe that you want for your game. There are several ways to do this, but in this video we're going to talk about export images code. This is probably the simplest way to turn images into code and get them embedded into your game. Uh, it is not the most efficient, but it is uh, the easiest to use because everything you need is built into Raylib. Uh, exported images code will take your texture, open it, convert the pixel data for the image into source code, and then you can take that source code and build that into your game so that you can read the data at runtime from your code, not from an external file. So the function export images code is part of Raylib. And what it does is it takes an image file that you would have to load from a regular picture file and a file name for a header file that you want to export this to. Uh, when you run the function, it decompresses your file, like your PNG file, reads out the pixel data, and then turns that data into code in a header file. This takes all the pixels from your image and saves it into a big array that you can use. Then, once you have this data, you can use it to fill out an image structure. The data you get will go into the data field. You have the height and width as hash defines that you can set. Uh, you have the format that you can set. And there's an additional field called MIP maps that you need to set to one. From this image file, you can then load it as a texture at runtime and run your game from it. Export images code is not meant to be used by your game at runtime. It is meant to be used by a tool that you write that exports all of your images out to header files. You then include those header files with your actual game at build time. So let's do a simple example here. Here we have a basic Raylib application. It loads two images, a background and a player ship. It's loading them from PNG files. So as you can see, we have our little background and our spaceship. So if we're going to export these two PNG files as code, we need to write a little program that's going to export them. So I have that created here as my exporter. It's a very simple program. It still uses Raylib. It does not need to initialize the window or do anything. It's simply going to call load image on our image, then export images code with a different name for each picture. So we're going to export blue.png to blue.h and player one ship red out to ship.h. When we run this program, it is going to generate these two header files. I've created a copy of my project here that we're going to embed our pictures into and added the two header files to the project. So as you can see, here's our ship with the data exported. We've got the ship width, the ship height, the ship data format, which is just the pixel format, and then all of the pixel data for our spaceship. Then we have a new main file for our new embedded version of our game. It's gonna look very similar, except for instead of calling load texture, we're going to fill out an image structure with the data from our various headers. We've included our blue.h and our ship.h. This gets the data to be compiled into this program. We then fill out an image structure. We set the format to the ship format define. We set the height and width. We set the data. And we must always set MIP maps to 1. You'll notice here we are not calling load image or unload image. There's nothing to load or unload because the data is already part of our program. Loading is when you load things from disk. What we are going to do is load texture from image, and this will create a texture from our image that is code. So with this, we've created both of our background and our player ship textures from our predefined image structures. After that, everything works the same. If we run our game here, 
our pictures both show up. You'll notice we did not load anything from a path. We did not load any PNG files. We didn't actually even call load texture on a file. So I'll have this code with both the header files and the CPP files and the exporter uh, linked in the video. Um, that's about it. Thank you for this video. If you want any additional help, please join the Raylib Discord. Uh, if you like these videos, please give it a like. Uh, I try to make more when I can, so subscribe for notifications. Thank you.